<laughs> so here I am at the Dragon Stand auditions, and we got here like two hours early, thinking there was going to be a long line, and there's three people in line. So Ozzy wants to get on camera; he has a lot to say. Uh, so anyway, so we'll be one of the first up, and hopefully we'll set the bar for everyone else and see how it goes. But I've got my little kit with diapers. Got uh, the diapers in here. And then we've got the dogger. Okay, so we're ready. See how it goes. So they've moved us into another room. There's still only about a dozen people. It's kind of crazy. Anyways, let's take a look. <laughs> We're number four. Wish me luck. and you feel entirely powerless when you don't have a way to help them. The vets can only do so much. So I started to look around for ways to make their lives easier and found it quite challenging because nothing was really available to me. And at the moment I thought, there's no way, I know how many dog owners in the world and how many people I know that own dogs, I cannot be the only one that's looking to make it better for them. Uh, and it turns out I was right. So I started Dog Quality. Uh, Dogquality.com is our website and we were selling the products initially just through there. Uh, selling other people's products. When did you start? Yeah, 2009. Okay. And uh, selling other people's products, and what that did was it gave me a great way to really not only test the market, but to understand where the gaps were and where those opportunities existed. Uh, we got great feedback. We have the best customers in the world. They're so interactive. They are so happy to find solutions for their dog. They share. And we learned a lot. And so what I learned was that there's a couple categories that were really deficient in the market, and that's places we we're going to capitalize on. So midway through 2010, we introduced two of our own product lines, one of them being the Washable Wonders, which are washable diapers, wraps, and pads to help manage dog incontinence. Now, unfortunately, uh, incontinence is one of the top reasons people put their dogs down. And yes, oftentimes it is a sign of something more serious, but a lot of times it's just a leaky bladder. And dogs can live years healthy and happy if they have the right tools to allow them to do that. And again, you know, I take us back to the human world. Look, it depends. I mean, there's, there's millions and millions of dollars being made around incontinence pro products to make life a little easier for people. So mm -hmm. what these do is they give dignity back to the dog and they give peace of mind to the families. And, and I, I, we have customers that have had dogs in diapers for years that are the happiest, cutest, you know, most wonderful dogs. And all, like I said, all they had was a bit of a bladder problem. So they can keep going. Mm -hmm. The other thing that we identified was the stroller category. So again... Strollers uh, are an amazing product, they're liberating. So the focus for this is dogs that have problems with mobility. Mm -hmm. And if you've, again, ever had a senior dog, you know, sometimes the mind is willing. You know, they still want to go on walks, they still want to do things with you, yeah. but their body just doesn't cooperate. So a stroller is a great way that you can still get them out. They can walk for the amount of time that they can handle, and they can rest. So you still can have your two-hour walks. He is may that your walk. product? Yes, this is. So you... you I manufacture, manufacture this. this. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So are you selling still other people's stuff on your yes. website and your own? Yes, that's and right. And are you selling your own anywhere else but your website? Uh, yes, through some stores. Okay. So the stroller right now is um, in about six different stores, two in Vancouver. Uh, our largest retailer is out of Japan, actually. Oh. Um, and then we have a couple out of Florida. And that's one of the side of the business that I'm looking to grow the most and doing some trade shows to, to help out. I can push this this way. The dog can face me if they want. Um, and then for the, the person that's pushing... You know, they've got full adjustable handlebars, which people curious. love. And How old is Ozzy? Ozzy's 10. Okay. And again, lightweight frame, durable. The reason that this surpasses everything in the market is because, like I said, they're like tall strollers. And again, regular use. When, when, when people buy our stuff, it's because they need it on a regular basis. And so it has to be strong, it has to be durable, and most of all, comfortable. Uh, the other thing that we've sort of borrowed from the baby world is the idea of accessories. So these lights, this drink holder, and I have an orthopedic pad that goes in with it. 
to again, again thank arthritic dogs. Um, so people can, you know, buy small little accessories, helps us, increases order value, and it gives them a bit more of a dogger experience. And again, same with diapers, you can get the pads with the diapers, so okay. that's so, fantastic. Uh, so what are, like, what are sales? So sales, uh, sales last year were 160000 um, and it would have been more, but we kept selling out, which is actually why I'm here. I'm and what percentage of the sex sales are your products versus the... It's about 90% is between these oh, two. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah okay. it, that's why I knew when we... Give up the <laughs> I, I'm, I'm weeding them out, and my, my goal is to bring you know, more and more. We're working on a, like a traction sock, and I'm, that's what I'm going to try. I'm gradually going to be replacing because, I mean, we have, like I said, the customers are so interactive, and we have great ideas on how to make much better products than what exists today. Uh, and how much money did you say you're asking for? 50000 Okay. Yeah. Yeah, what would you do the money? So, those, so you probably just yeah, yeah. Most of it is to go and is to boost up the production. Like, I have a marketing it's background. To make and a bigger production. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. there's so much I can do with more volume, so much more uh, savings that I can, yeah. I can have, and then I can stop leaving money on the table, which is killing me. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I, I mean, I like it. It's, it's unique. Um, you know, we love dog products, obviously, on the show. Yeah, and, I think it, and, and yeah, I interesting guess, reactions. <laughs> you know, I think the, the, the biggest thing is is how, how would we make this kind of interesting for TV, right? Right, so, yeah. You know, we need to get a bunch of old dogs, probably. Well, Toronto um, is like the kingpin of uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You Trouble know, a producer could help you store some of that stuff. Okay, and, great. Um, that and, would be awesome. And I think, you know... We, we have just to have to, it's always about showing them the need, right? Yeah. Like, they don't get it a lot of the time. So, right. cool. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So, yeah, let you know in a couple that's, weeks, that's as I was saying. Okay, I appreciate yeah. that. Woo! Woo! We just finished, and uh, it went awesome. They were really, really nice, and made me feel very comfortable. It gave me tons of time to talk, and we even had the support of a reporter in there that had bumped us to the top of the line because he wanted to get some uh, shots of us. He had spoken to us before we got in there and did an interview with him. And then, yeah, he bumped us up for fourth place, or fourth place, fourth um, in line to uh, number two. So we got in and out quite quickly. It's done. I'm happy. And now we wait about three weeks to see what happens. Thanks.